Welcome back everybody to the YouTube channel. Today is an interesting one. So we had someone call our office and reach out about us just inspecting their attic and their attic only. They want to add insulation into their attic, but they saw there's a bunch of junk up there and they just don't want to cover up anything and they want to make sure they do it correctly. Uh, he says he doesn't know very much about homes and so what we are going to do is just go over there and do it. A normal trip fee for something like this would be anywhere around the 250 or 300 range, but he let us come and record a video to help better educate you guys and better educate him. So it's content for us and it works. So we're gonna go and inspect his attic and tell him everything he needs to do and you get to see some attic stuff. So let's go check it out. Literally every home yeah. has issues. Uh, yeah, let me try to find it so I can just read it. Yeah, so, um... And you're what, I mean, look at anything and everything you want. I'm all ears just because this yeah. is stuff... We, we moved in two years ago. Mm -hmm. It was our first home. Um, there was a remodel, so it, it looked nice. But, you know, two years in, you're starting to kind of look and see things. You're like, was that there two years ago? Or is that something that I didn't see? Or something that's falling apart and I don't know how to fix it? I don't know if... Um, I don't know if it needs to be fixed and everybody anybody that's in this industry it seems mm -hmm. like they're all salespeople. So then they come over and they're gonna you're gonna need to they need to sell it to you and that's the part that like there's no there's this weird like yeah, you don't know what trust factor. You don't like, know what needs to be done yes, or what yeah, or yeah. if it needs to be done right. They didn't mention anything about uh the missing insulation anywhere and uh that was the very first thing I noticed when you sent me those photos. Sure. You're like, Hey, is this normal? You're like No, you should have been at least told that yeah that's so that's interesting so yeah so th so this is what he said um attic access door was not sealed yeah that's pretty uh, common though. That's... there was um uh, where is it it wasn't in his notes it was oh here it, is. it was in like the black notes not the blue notes i don't mm -hmm. know what the difference is attic was observed from the floored area of attic only much of the attic was not accessible accessible yeah so, so yeah for like state standards yeah that's actually i know it's, it's kind of sad but like if he's following the state standards he's allowed to actually get away with that which is not something we agree with in our company we go as far as we can as safe mm -hmm. as we can and i know that's but as long as we have a path i mean like you can easily make it all the way over here and look over this ductwork yeah super easily and be able to see everything but Yes, if say your inspector was like overweight or older sure. or something, he could literally just pull up into the attic space and, you know, look around and be like, and he, and he meets the state minimum standard, but it doesn't do the customer uh, justice, just, justice yeah. you know. Right. You have to really, the, the, what I always like to tell all my inspectors is like, the problem's always where you can't see it if that makes sense yeah, <laughs> like yeah, so yeah. it's like if you can see it most of the time they take care of it but it's around the corner that's where the issues well, are but that also falls in line with what we're what worries me is that like we bought the house because when you walked in it was remodeled and repainted and it looked nice right but you don't you don't see where the problem is because the problem was hid by a paint of coat or whatever you know? no oh yeah man that that's happening throughout all of houston yeah is this freshly patched and painted and that was our last video wasn't it yeah so that was in our last video gotcha. we just did where they the new home all right so what i'll do is uh, i'm gonna go through and I'll just uh, i don't know if you prefer this way i prefer this way over that way okay you're welcome to it you do have to crawl though uh, I'll uh, look, i don't know if you yeah yeah i'll look on you. both spaces i'll start on this side uh -huh. what i normally do is i like to just hook a right and just for my routine and yeah. I'll, I'll kind of hook a right and I'll just make a list of everything that I see sure. and then uh, we'll go from there but yeah that range hood been disconnected is all the way back there and then yep. yeah mm -hmm. all right yeah we'll, we'll try to I'll we'll, follow you if you don't yeah. get her follow behind yeah, yeah we'll build a list we'll build, and then I just like to try to hook a right from the attic and then work my way around to make sure that I hit everything um, and uh, there's a few things that I notice uh, in this area is that the insulation is really low and like uh, the homeowner said just a few minutes ago saying that the home inspector only viewed it from the attic space and he didn't mention anything about the insulation well I'm in the platform right here and this platform's pretty safe to be on and I can see right here and I can already see the sheetrock on the roof so 
that's a pretty easy call out and it's something as a home inspector you definitely want to make sure that you call out and then there's some open junction boxes and I know he wants to add in insulation so the very first thing you want to do is make sure that you remove all this debris out of here and then also cap any electrical boxes out uh, in this area so um, as a home inspector you kind of failed but at the same time it is a learning experience so we might even reach out to them just to let them know that you know there's these are things that you, you might want to call out so uh, hooking it right through here that's the first things that I notice and then we'll go go there in the front of the attic space and see what we see over there okay so moving on to the other side of the attic space this is actually just to the right of the platform uh, coming up and the first thing I notice is that there's a lot of old uh, galvanized water lines sitting around so that's a really good sign that they've replaced all the all the old water lines at least the horizontal ones most of the time they don't do the vertical ones because all the damage ends up in the, the horizontal the vertical ones normally uh, stay pretty good the uh, but the things that stick out to me over here is there's zero insulation on the floor and this is part of the livable home so they're probably having cooling issues in this area and they put in LED can lights which is nice but when it, before they want to throw in the insulation in this area they need to put some sort of shield or they make little buckets or they can and they can foam around there to keep the cool air inside their property so that is definitely an area they want to uh, focus on so yes they just want to remove the same thing just remove the debris cap the uh, cap the, the junction boxes and make sure that the the LED lights are protected. Uh, one other thing I saw right here is that the the primary drain line for the HVAC terminates into a, a plumbing stack. It's not supposed to do that. You're supposed to go into a P-trap and underneath the sink or outside. Is it really going to hurt anything? No. This main thing I'll let the client know and I actually probably won't even recommend to repair it. It's just, just let them know it's wrong. Code changes every three years, so this home's a little bit older. That so with the HVAC, there's two drain lines. Yeah, so you have a primary. That's, that's what you're saying. That is that's yeah. the primary. And yeah. So your other. primary, your HVAC is always condensating. Yeah, and then that's and, the secondary. Yeah, and that's the secondary. So okay. if you ever see your secondary drain line mm -hmm. uh, draining out, or your pan drain line, if yeah. you ever see that going outside, there's you something see wrong. See something dripping. There's yeah, there's something wrong. wrong. So yeah. you want to make sure you run up here right away to get it. Um, your, prime, your AC is always condensating, so uh, the reason why you want it in a sink or something so you can clean it out a little bit easier. Gotcha. Um, I actually probably think it might even be better in a plumbing stack. It's less likely for algae to build up and stuff in that P-trap, gotcha. but I'm sure some HVAC technician will correct me what the science behind why it's not supposed to be yeah. in a, um, an actual plumbing stack. So one of the things that I notice is I always like to follow the drain lines of the HVAC to make sure there's a negative slope leaving the property. And the first thing I notice is you have your pan drain line. It is nice that there is a sensor on uh, the, the pan, so if it does back up. But if you follow it out, the pan drain line actually has a positive slope right before it leaves the property like it's stressed. And so water could actually back up into the pan and not drain properly. So we want to make sure that uh, they we notify them so they can correct the the slope of the secondary drain line on the HVAC. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that I noticed uh, with this duck right here, it I'd probably just recommend it to suspend it a little bit. Uh, the main reason is is when he ever he adds this, all this insulation in, it could probably start to sweat. So we just want to make sure that it's off uh, the attic floor. It is a pretty minor repair, but uh, if he's trying to get the house as perfect as possible, I'd definitely suspend this duck around this corner over here. And then I notice, uh, you know, just more debris and the can lights that need to be sealed uh, right before they put in his new insulation over here. So pretty good find. So another thing too is you'll actually get a lot of old water stains. So as a home inspector, it's really good to be nimble because you saw how we had to crawl underneath and crawl under some doors. And if you see some old water stains, it may it may make you want to pay extra attention to the um, pay extra attention to the uh, the 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 roof flashing or really make sure that it's 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 old. Make you want to make sure that the, the water stains are old, which I do believe these are. All right. So the client just asked uh, the soffit gap over here 
if um, you need to blow insulation all the way over there. And actually, no. Uh, the re how you fix this, or whenever they add in insulation, is they put baffles here. And the reason why you don't want to blow insulation down there is because it will prevent air movement in your structure. Your roof structure always needs air movement. It helps prevent a lot of issues and it keeps your attic cool. That's a whole different video, a different topic, different day. But the main thing is, is you need air movement in your attic space. So what they do is they put baffles here and they blow insulation up to the baffles and that will allow air movement in your attic. Okay, so uh, one of the last few things that we noticed in the attic space, you can see that we're all the way in the back. And if you have the capability of getting to the back of your attic, it's always, a, it's always recommended. Uh, as you can see, looking around, you know, the insulation's pretty low all over here too as well. Uh, and then I noticed that there is some sort of beetle damage on some of these purlins over here. It looks old. We're going to send it to one of our, our bug guys just to see. Uh, what they think what they think about the bug damage to see if it needs to be treated or foamed to make sure that it's gone away and then the, the final thing is is the gable vent screens uh, there's a, a lot of nesting in there so you definitely want to clean that out and uh, seal seal them back up it is nice that there is a gable vent uh, so that is another type of ventilation to help keep the attic cool so this attic has a combination of gables soffits and ridges so you say even the insulation did get in that soffit area a little bit, this gable vent should be able to keep the, the ventilation in. It's a, it's a pretty nice attic from front to back, so uh, that is really good. This is a good looking attic space. I know it seems like there's a lot going on, but the roof structure looks good. Just uh, needs a little bit of TLC. All right, uh, one more thing is uh, we noticed that the range hood vent is completely disconnected. Uh, we don't know if it's connected in the kitchen yet. We'll check that on the way out, but we've, I just told, I recommended if it is connected, not to use it at all, because that means that they're just spraying grease into the wall cavity. Uh, this is something I think that could easily been caught if the inspector walked back here. So let's just take a look at it. Okay, uh, final find in the attic. The client actually uh, spotted this one, which is pretty cool. And uh, uh, you can see the purlin is broken loose. It probably happened whenever they changed the the roof covering of them moving around and stuff. So just uh, rebrace the roof to help prevent sagging in the future. So there we go. Um, help someone out today, which is uh, really nice. And um, there's just a few things that he does need to tackle in the attic space before he adds in all that insulation. And I know that we're talking, I guess, kind of bad about another home inspector, but we're not, it's mainly just trying to educate the home inspection community about what should actually be looked for. I'm not, we're not going to call anybody's name out and we're not going to call anybody out for making the mistake. It's just more of, hey, this is what you should be informing your clients about so they understand what they're getting in. Because this client moved in and, you know, it was freshly patched and painted like some of the other videos. And he was like, oh, this is a perfect home. And the first thing this guy had to do when he moved in, he had to replace his HVAC system. He had to replace his roof. Then he got in the attic and the HVAC guy let him know that there's no insulation in the attic and he had no clue. So, you know, of course, that makes him a little bit upset. He's way past the complaint point of going back to his old home inspection, but it is something that you want to focus on. So let me go over the list of things uh, that we found in the attic space. So the very first thing is, is you wanna make sure you cap all the junction boxes. You wanna remove all the debris. He needs to seal all the LED lights. He needs to reroute that drain line for the HVAC to help prevent any run out or any water damage that could happen into the HVAC system reattach the purlin. They need to make sure that they clean out the gable vent area. And then w the very the thing that stuck out to me the most, and we'll reach out to our bug guy though, is we need to make sure that they do some sort of preventative treatment on that beetle damage. It does look a little old, but I'm not really sure. I need to refresh some of my beetle knowledge. And if any of you guys know about this on the video, that you, any bug guys are watching this video, if you know anything about beetles, drop in the comment section and help better educate us. All right, so that's great. That's good stuff. If you like these types of videos, please hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.